everybody, welcome to Rem TV and welcome back to my LV20, the show, New York Mets franchise. This is episode 19, and here we are for this August 6th game against the LA Dodgers, who's 73 and 43. We're playing Kershaw on the mound, who's 8 and 6 with a 3.03 ERA. We got Rick Porcello on the mound looking for his 10th win um, before I get this game started. Um, I don't know if you guys know, I've been watching my community posts, but I am exclusively streaming on Facebook Gaming. Um, you'll see a lot of my Warzone stuff there, and once other Dark Souls type games come out, I'll probably be playing on there. I'll probably start playing Sekiro on there too. Um, but most of my video on demand stuff, like my MLB franchises, and maybe the highlights from my streams I'll post on YouTube as well. But remember, exclusively, I'll be streaming on Facebook Gaming, so follow that at Facebook.com slash RemTV1. I'll post it on the video, probably right now. And click that click that link and then, um, yeah, follow so we guys can watch me in my live streams. And that usually adds up to a lot of success. Let's see if he can continue to do that in this one here today. And this one's high and tight, backing him up 2-1. and one. Dan D. Rowe, you check out this Dodger team as they enter play here tonight. They're definitely in a nice stretch as they've won Oop. six of their last That is Nimmo with an infield single. Right off the glove of Clayton Kershaw, and he's on here in the first inning. Ah! That got Conforto with a slider. That's Kershaw with three strikeouts here in the first inning. That drops in. Rosario's going to be waved home. And he's going to be safe. That is an RPI single for Rick Parcello. What a heads up play by Rosario. Using his speed and the slowly hit ball. The right fielder being lackadaisical with that throw. And Rosario was able to capitalize with an RBI. Slides in safely. Two and two to Jock after foul ball. I'm swinging. That is a strikeout for Porcello. Getting a nice changeup. It's a base hit by Alonzo. That's going to push McNeil to third. And we have runners at the corners with no outs here in the third inning with Robbie Cano up next. That's going to be a double play, but that's going to score a run. So it's going to be 2-0 here in the third inning with a double play. Damn it. It's going to be a double, maybe a triple. But that's going to score Turner from first base. So it's going to be 2-1. to one. That is an RBI single. A double. I'm sorry. That is a RBI double by Kyle Seager. Play the plate. And he's going to be... Say, oh, he's out. What a throw by Conforto. Getting out Seager. That is a strikeout. Getting out of predicament. That ends the inning. Two to one, Mets. Ooh, that froze Jock. With a nasty curveball. 76 miles an hour. That's Porcello's fifth strikeout of the game. This is going to be a double play ball. Out of second. Out of first. Rob Cano with a nice throw. And transition to Alonzo, getting Muncy out at second. And the throw at first, inning over. That is going to be a base hit for Jeff McNeil. That's the second base hit of the game with a man on, one out here in the fifth inning. Oh, that is out of here. Conforto drives onto right field, and it's and gone up 
A home run! A home run! That is Michael Conforto with a 400-foot bomb. That is number 32 in the season. I thought that was going to be a foul ball. I thought it was just to keep curving, but that hides behind. That wraps around the foul pole, and it's out of here, and the Mets are up 5-1 to one here in the fifth inning. That is Nimmo hitting a deep right field. Chasing back, chasing back, and it's out of here. That is Jeff McNeil with number 22 of the year going 387 feet off training. I think we're going to replay here. Low pitch. Just able to laser it to the Mets bullpen. It's going to be a home plate throw it first ball game over and the Mets win 7-1 that is a great win for Porcello and the Mets taking that Clayton Kershaw great performance by Rick Porcello that's his 10th win of the year and they kind of do things handily here having 14 hits uh, Porcello 7 innings pitch 6 hits giving up 7 strikeouts 5 walks and the one earned run Jeff McNeil to play the game though, 4 for 5 with a home run. Alright, so we take the first game of the four game series against the Dodgers. We're gonna simulate, let's see, Porcello, and then we got we got the Grom next. So it's gonna be all the way up to here. Same through date. We are simming down to this game. I the Grom's going for um let's get eight innings pitch and we'll sim it and we win one nothing behind Jacob de Grom. Um, let's take a look at the stats here. Oh, just kidding, the Mets are up. 7-0. Send a guard with a shutout going, and we win 7 nothing. Tie game, Mookie we'll Betts on. Same the game with Familia on, and... Ah, we lost. Damn it, Familia. We lost, and we lost. Okay, so... We are 79-41. and 41. I'm going to take a look at this game with the Grom here. Um, oops. Let's take a look at the box score. Who's the only person that scored? Of course... Pete Alonso with a home run. And let's take a look at the box score for this one. Um, we got uh, Marisnik, McNeil the home run. McNeil with four RBIs, wow. In terms of the pitching, Syndergaard gets his seventh win, making him seventh and eighth. Four hits, one walk, five strikeouts. Familia gets the loss, three to four, that's right. And then we got Mats losing one to nine. Struggling there, and we got Adam Simber giving it up to Darren O'Day. Let's take a look up when we lost the game. Oh, they gave up five runs in the seventh inning. Ah, come on, Simber. You're better than that. Okay, and then next game we're going to have, we're going to have Jacob DeGrom versus Max Freed, who's 5-6, and six, facing against the 66-55 and 55, uh, Atlanta Braves. So let's take a look at the awards race here. Pete Alonso still up the awards race, batting 308, 51 home runs, only two shy of his rookie record and 101 RBIs. He still has a lot of the season left. Um, then Jacob DeGrom, the uh, Cy Young leader right now, 15 and 3 record, 3.24 ERA with 186 strikeouts. Max Scherzer, I'm telling you, man, he just he needs one or two more wins to catch up with DeGrom, and I think he would take the Cy Young. Um, 221 ERA, that is domination there. Um, and then again, the standings we are up 13 and a half games over the Braves. And that's gonna wrap things up with my New York Mets franchise. Don't forget to click that like button, leave any comments below. Again, I'm doing all my live streams on Facebook Gaming, facebook.com slash ramtv1. Go check it out there. I play a lot of Warzone and planning to expand on other games. So hope you hope you guys enjoy this video. Again, click the like button, subscribe, and hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy and peace.